Great work again, Fred. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Tricasi, Life and Productivity Coach with the Clean Slate. And I am 13 weeks post rotator cuff surgery. And this is the part that I'm going to call the slog. Maybe you can relate. You know, um, I definitely have more mobility and range of motion than I did um, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, but I don't have more than I did prior to my surgery. And so I, I knew that was going to be the case, right? I knew it was going to be a long road, but it's one thing to know something and another thing to really live that something. And so when I first had the surgery, you know, there was all that excitement, uh, excitement's maybe a strong word, but all the uh, anticipation for when the mobility and the range of motion was back to normal and uh, I could just resume life as it used to be. And that, uh, that a bit of adrenaline and that vision was enough to uh, be motivational. And then uh, the, the milestones of seeing improvement were pretty, um, you know, short time span that I was seeing them. And so, you know, like within 10 days, didn't need pain medication as regularly. Uh, three weeks had the immobilizing sling removed. One week later, the entire sling got removed. Two weeks later, I could drive. So there were like little baby steps that I was having big payoffs. And it was exciting. And it, it kept that motivation going. And then now, like I said, week 13, it's the slog. I'm not going to see big uh, milestones reached now. It's going to be really gradual and can be up to 52 weeks for full range of mobility um, and range of motion, which would mean I'm 25% through the process. And I don't know about you, but when there aren't those uh, little milestones to keep me going, it's hard. And this is gonna require uh, two qualities that I am not super strong on, and that is uh, patience and perseverance. Um, I don't have an, uh, an abundant well full of those. And so I'm not really sure what's going to keep me motivated. You know, obviously I, I want to have the full range of motion and the mobility, but you know, um, that's a, that's a long ways away. It's hard for me to, to have that be enough and it should be maybe, but then I also know should is a bad word. So that can't be what drives me. So I'm going to have to find out what does. So I wanna ask you, when you're in the slog of a project, maybe even at a point of life where it really just feels like you're just getting up and putting one foot in front of the other each day, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you moving forward? What uh, reward system do you set up for yourself? I seriously, I really want to know. I'm gonna be pulling out all of my tools that I have um, I'm going to be going back to basics with planning and to-do lists, you know, um, checklists. I'm going to hope it's all enough. And I also know that hope is not a plan. So that's not going to be good enough. We're all in this together and uh, slogging it through some days better than others. So until next time, enjoy your journey. Thanks. Bye.